Launch is scheduled for 9.02 Eastern Time tomorrow morning. Astronauts Pogue, Carr, and Gibson have been thoroughly briefed on the mission, which could run as long as 84 days if all goes well. But even if it lasts only the scheduled 60 days, it will have been the longest manned space assignment. Carr and Pogue will take a spacewalk Christmas Day to photograph the comet Kohotek. Otherwise, the astronauts say they're keeping their Christmas plans a secret until the day arrives. Yesterday, the three were given a last familiarization with mock-ups of some of the equipment they'll be using to conduct scientific experiments. By studying Kohotek from outside the atmosphere, they hope to learn more about the comet's makeup. Scientists feel the absence of the dust and gases surrounding Earth will make it possible to find substances so far undetected in other comets. The astronauts say they're unconcerned about the condition of the booster rocket that will send them off the pad at Cape Canaveral. Those cracked tail fins have been replaced, and the NASA flight director says cracks discovered in the booster's vertical beams present no structural threat. If the mission goes the full 84 days, the astronauts will splash down in the Pacific, 250 miles southwest of San Diego, next February 8th. This is Doug Ramsey reporting.